Hey everybody, it's Kylie and today I've got the easiest tutorial ever on how to create traceable worksheets for yourself or for your audience using just iPad Pro and your Apple Pencil. There is no digitizing required. You do it all in here and then you print it out and it's ready to go. And there are multiple uses for it. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's start by opening up Procreate. The most important thing is to start off at a really high resolution. So I'm just using the automatic screen size that they give you in Procreate. I have the smaller iPad Pro, so if you have the larger one, yours will be a bigger resolution. And I'm just gonna use my pencil, just the standard pencil in Procreate to sketch out the quote that I want to print out as a traceable worksheet. This is just a really simple Thanksgiving inspired quote that I thought was good for this time of year. So um, what I'm doing right now is I'm starting a new layer and then I'm lowering the opacity of the sketch that I just did and going back over it in that new layer, trying to get the placement a little bit more perfect. And this is my process always for pen and paper or in the Procreate app. So just, um, you'll see that I'll be doing that a couple times, but for right now, I wanna talk about the importance of starting with that high resolution canvas in Procreate. Since we're not going into Adobe Illustrator and we're not taking this anywhere else um, to perfect or to digitize or whatever, you have to start with a really high resolution canvas. Otherwise, if you try to size it, even at an eight and a half by 11 or a five by seven in Procreate, the resolution won't be good and it will come out pixelated. This is what I have encountered and a lot of people in my Facebook group ha also have had questions about this because they've encountered it as well. So I say go with a really high size. The automatic screen size has worked well for me in the past, so that's what I'm going with and you should too. Now I'm pretty much happy with my sketch, so I'm gonna lower the opacity on the sketch, create a new layer, very important, and then I'm gonna trace over the sketch with the standard brush pen that comes in the Procreate app. And it's very important that you're on a new layer, so just double check, okay? And then I know that I want my audience to trace this quote with the Tombow Fudenosuke soft nib. So if they're gonna be printing it and using the pen with it, I need to make sure that the pen matches the stroke that I'm using in Procreate. So I'm using a size nine brush pen, like I said. I've played around with it enough that I know this works, but if you're using a dual brush pen or any other brand of pen, you'll want to do some playing around. And really that all comes down to making a couple strokes, writing down the sizes in Procreate and then printing out and actually testing, which is no fun. It's kind of a hassle, but it's really worth it to make sure your audience is getting a true representation with the pen you want them to use. Okay, so I've deleted the sketch underneath and I really didn't like how the G came out, so I'm just retracing that a couple of times until it is where I want it to be. And now that that is done, I'm ready to start saving my my print here. So I'm gonna save it in the black and white version, the full black and white version. I'm just gonna do that by exporting this image as a JPEG and saving it to my photos. But then if you want people to trace it, what you wanna do is just lower the opacity down to about 10% opacity. This is what I do for my 50 ways to letter sheets and I think it's a great opacity so that you won't see much of the sketch underneath and it will still be easy to see for anyone who's tracing it. So once again, just export that as a JPEG and save it to your photos. And I just email it to myself and print it out. For the tracing sheet, I printed it out on some cardstock. Then I have this full black and white image on a regular piece of copy paper. And like I said, I wanna use my tracing sheet with the Tombow Fudenosuke soft nib. So that's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, it's really, really close match to the thickness that I can get with this pen. And it looks really nice. If you trace it perfectly, you can hardly even see any of the tracing template, I guess you could call it, below, which is really awesome. And don't forget, this is available for download in the accompanying blog post. So if you want to print this out for yourself and trace it and have it out during your Thanksgiving gatherings or just in your house this fall, then you should go do that. And it's kind of fun to trace 
for a change instead of having to come up with something perfect. The reason I also printed out the full black and white image is because this makes an excellent watercolor tracing practice sheet. And I'm all about getting some good watercolor practice in, so I'm just placing that sheet on top of my Cricut Bright Pad with a piece of watercolor paper on top, and then I'm just going to use my watercolors like normal. And I've done this in a couple videos now, but it really is helpful for if you're someone like me or you just hate the thought of there being some pencil marks below your watercolor, then using a bright pad is a really great option for that as well. And you can do this with anything you create in Procreate or, I mean, really, I don't know, any program that you use. I just use Procreate for the iPad, but there are other options out there. And if you have something that you really, really like, just use this method to print it out and then trace over it with watercolors. And then you have double the fun, double the mediums, double the awesome looks for your house or for a gift or for your Etsy shop. So I just think this is an awesome way to get a really beautiful watercolor piece. And that's really all there is to it to create a traceable print or a worksheet for you to use at home or to give to your audience via a blog post or newsletter. If you want to know a little bit more about how I upload, how I distribute, how I let people know how to download, printing instructions, etc., head to my website. It's linked below. I have a blog post that details all of that good stuff. So I hope to see you there. Bye.